none of us would be from where we are from or where we are standing today if it was not for Martha Washington. If Martha Washington had not married George Washington, we would not be the United States of America. I'm sure everyone in this room is familiar with the phrase, behind every great man is an even greater woman. It has never been more true than when these two crazy kids got together. But like all of us, Martha was not born an old lady in an apron and a bonnet. Martha was hot. I walked thousands of miles in the shoes of these women, and tonight you'll get to walk a few miles in mine. I will serve under no man other than George Washington. That's Abigail Adams saying to her husband, the vice president of the United States in the late 1700s, come home president or just come home. And he came home president, didn't he? If I asked someone in this room, anyone in this room, myself included before this project, to name 5, 10, 15, even 20 first ladies, unless you're from the great state of Ohio, you would have not said this woman. Helen Taft. Helen Taft is the reason why in 99.9% .9 of the rooms I speak in and groups I speak to, someone says dresses because of the exhibit in the Smithsonian. This woman donated the first dress. One of my all-time favorites, Lou Hoover. We all know the Johnny Cash song, A Boy Named Sue, right? This is a girl named Lou. <laughs> That's not a nickname. Her father wanted a son, got a daughter, said, all right, her name's Lou. So what he did with Lou is he took her camping, taught her how to shoot a gun, ride a horse. These women are unusual for their time. They're unusual from other women, other men, other children. Again, arguably the most powerful unelected women in the world. In a job that they were not trained for, in a job that they did not want or expect, they married men that happened to become the president. And then they turned it into what we know today. An unelected, unpaid role that influences the lives for centuries. Hundreds and hundreds of years.